we going today? Oh, Jacob's Bluff. It's like a, the pictures look like a, like a creek of yeah, us. Like a river, I think. Yeah, and then there's just a hole. It's, it's one of the deepest uh, caves in Texas. It's it's like, how, how deep was it? 187 feet? Something like that, close to 200 feet deep. Yeah. That's insane, and but it's, it's a swimming hole. But it's not considered a hole, it's considered a cave, because it actually like it goes in and expands. Oh, wow. Um, just like a cavern. Well, we're gonna go explore that. We also have some guests with us. Yes. But uh, we have Todd and Sheila with us. We, we're gonna drag them on this adventure with us. Yes. And uh, because all the times that we've hung out, we've never like recorded no, we're uh, always, an adventure together. We're always working. <laughs> we're always working or we do the collaboration with like a specific thing to record. Right, yes. Yeah. So this time, they we were able to extend our stay at Camp Fimpo um, after the huddle. Yeah. We were supposed to leave and then we decided not to because of the storms coming through uh, northern Texas. So we decided to stay just for a little bit longer and then so they decided to stay a little bit longer so yeah. we could actually hang out together. Which is pretty cool. Um, very sweet of them to do. Yeah, something you need to know about Jacob's Well is you have to buy tickets. If you're swimming. To swim. It's free parking and it's free to walk the trails and, and look at everything, but if you want to swim, it is nine dollars a person if you're over 13 it's five dollars for seniors kids under 13 and um residents of the area or free or five or five dollars and you only get two hours to swim yes. so on purgatory road for seven miles it's pretty popular yeah so they're trying to they they try to limit it to under 60 people at a time is, wow. what, is what it is. That's a lot. It's a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but All trying to dive into the same hole. Yeah. So like I looked at the calendar and the weekends are already in the red, which means they're completely booked up. Wow. So it says if you're planning on going and you're planning on going in a, on a busy area, a busy time, to try to buy your tickets at least three weeks in advance. The downside of doing that is it's non-refundable and you can't um, like choose another day. They don't do rain dates. Hmm. And so, like, if we get there and it's flooded and you're not allowed to swim, we don't get a refund. Oh. It's just a it goes into the donation. Well, it's a good thing we can goes, still walk down there. It goes into the donation bucket. We can at least see what it looks like and everything. Yeah. And so, when you get when you book your ticket, you actually end up getting an email with a, a QR code on it for you for you to show them. Um, they said it doesn't matter if it's printed, emailed, or if you just take a picture of the computer, um, they'll they'll accept it. Sweet. So, well, cool. I'm excited. I've been wanting to do this since I knew we were close. <laughs> I know, it's only like 39 minutes from the campground. Yep. Um, so we still got 26 minutes to go, but yeah. Hey. Should be fun. All right. All right, so our rules are posted on the signs throughout the park. The big four, no smoking, no alcohol, no pets, and no glass. Pretty basic stuff. Okay. Um, you guys are on the last time slot of the day. We do close and lock those gates at six, so everyone does have to be off property by that time. We'll have someone down there to let you know when it's time to come back up to your vehicle. So okay, we have, it's park. about a 15 minute hike down to the swimming hole and that is a trail that's it says it's, there's a lot of steps so it wear good shoes steep and slippery and me and Michaela have flip flops on yeah <laughs> so this is gonna be fun but wear good shoes for the hike down and then you know either wear shoes or just take your shoes off I don't know what it, I don't know what it's like down there yet but I'm just gonna take my shoes off hopefully um, and then correction on the depth is only 140 only 140 feet it's yeah. deep enough. But well, we said 200. That's like a big difference. Between. It's deep enough to disappear. <laughs> That's <laughs> so. Be careful if you come. This is always fun. Jump at your own risk. Please use caution in swimming area. No lifeguard on duty, but you can jump. So, how was the water? Was it nice and warm? It was good. It was cold. Yeah, cold? cold. Great, cold. And you're at your own risk. And no germs. So 
Todd, you're jumping. I'm gonna jump from there. From I'm doing this. the top one. Yeah, I'm jumping from there. I yep. can jump from there, of course. There's people that have done it, you can tell, because there's footprints up there. Right. Okay, you guys ready? No. Uh, three. Okay. Here we go. Yeah, but you didn't have to jump. Look at this. Um, they want me to jump into a hole. It's not that deep. Okay. It's not that deep. It's like a hundred and some feet deep. <laughs> dive to the bottom. That's pretty deep. <laughs> it's very refreshing. And it's kind of surprising how deep you go. You're not making a steady either. Put this back? Yes, please. All right, he's gonna take this back. He's gonna see how deep the hole goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> All right, let's give you guys a view. What? All right. Here goes nothing. Yeah, says the person not. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Oh, it, it's pretty awesome. But that is a massive spider under that rock. And you had to get it up there. Yes. Yeah. I don't need to see it. Massive spider. You better, like, you better not let me see it. Man-eating spider. You gotta drop on your something on the That's because y'all keep splashing it. Mm. It's, it's pretty awesome though. I gotta admit. I did it once. I'm good. I can say I did it. Todd, so what are you doing now? What are you doing now? I'm gonna try to see if I can do the straight out spread eagle tuck at the last minute. Okay. Are you waiting for me to say something clever? <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. Sometimes there's just nothing up there. It's the first for a yeah. lot of things today. <laughs> I know. How was it jumping off the rock? Pretty fun. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Water was pretty scary at first, but. Are you nervous? Yeah. Nervous of hitting your head, or what were you nervous about? Just jumping. Just butterflies. Jumping. But you did it what, twice? Twice, yeah. Twice. Cool. Leishan did it. How did you like it? That was pretty fun. I mean, I did it once. There was just a lot of people there. And I don't think you're ever gonna get a chance to do it without a lot of people there. Unless you come like in the non-busy season. Yeah, it seems like it's just gonna be a popular area because yeah. it is pretty cool. So if it's hot outside, then it's really crowded. But we, we did it once, so we can at least say we did that. Yeah. Mark that off the list. Yeah.